I roll. I'm sorry. Are you putting that on your resume when you um, go to look for a job that you are the executive intern? I'm gonna put. I'm gonna switch my resume to executive. Yes. <laughs> executive intern. I had just intern. Now I'm gonna put switch to executive intern slash office manager. Okay, executive intern. And then it, you have to put duties that you did as an executive intern. What do you list? I'm gonna list uh, um, and telling the other interns what to do. Good. Giving now, out the order. Giving the orders to other interns. Other interns, do you... Do like you, this old man that is in Yes, correct. A 38-year-old, yes. The 38-year-old. With two kids. With two kids. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, do, you, do you listen to uh, the executive interns? Yes, I have to listen to... Yeah. Sam, Sam is David, forcing yeah. all interns to listen to the executive oh, interns. Sam is yes. instigating. You no, know he's involved with this. Sam is, the one that, Sam is the one that appointed me executive intern. <laughs> of course he, he appointed you? He appointed me, yes. Oh, appointed, okay. Yeah. So he appointed you. Uh, I boy, I didn't know you you had that in your job description, Sam. In order, to, Sam, well, he's just a dick. I love it. Of course he is. <laughs> what I really like, David and me, Sirius came and told all the interns that they all had to have a mentor, and that it should probably just be Steve. So everybody just put Steve as their mentor, so he just signs the paperwork, except David, because David said Steve wouldn't do a good job as his mentor. <laughs> and, what a set of faults on this kid. And then asked if I would be his mentor instead. Wow, he actually oh, asked wow, you. That's, that's nice. Good. Yes, they said he went from a bear to a viper. <laughs> yes, we had a, we had a meeting with the we had a meeting with the HR people from Sirius. Yeah, and you told him you didn't think uh, they said Steve will be everyone's mentor, and I said I don't want Steve to be my mentor. You told HR that. <laughs> yes, I did. You pretty much ratted out Steve. <laughs> yes, I did. No, I didn't rat him out. No, I didn't rat him. I just said I don't want Steve to be my mentor. Do so you understand that that's negative? That negatively impacts Steve to I the said, superiors. I asked them, "Could I have Sam as my mentor?" And they said, "Who's Sam?" And I explained to them, and I showed them, oh, and, yeah, and they no, said, "Oh, okay." Okay, Sam, you Not can be good. okay. Not good. Wow. Sam is my mentor, yes. Uh -oh, Paul has uh, something. Look at this. Some, oh, God, I'm sorry. Yeah, Paul, you have something? I just wanted to point out that some of David's executive duties yeah. does include removing staples from pieces of paper and then restapling them after they've been filed and scanned. <laughs> Gotta be done. And that you have to tell them that every day. Yeah. How to take the tape staples out and restaple again. <laughs> Why are you restapling stuff there, uh, executive intern? Those are the rules for all the, for all the darn paperwork that we got to clean up. All the darn paperwork. <laughs> Radio right. friendly. We got to clean up the mess of some of one specific individual who messed up all the paperwork and threw it all over their office. And we got to fix it all up, and it's uh -oh. all, all unorganized. Who did that? A certain individual that's no longer with us. <laughs> Oh, oh, mass. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so a certain individual is no longer with us. Threw all the paperwork all over the office and messed it up. And we have to reorganize it and scan it and. Why did fix he throw it, it all over? So he didn't do a good job. He wasn't doing his job. <laughs> so, oh we my gotta, God. so now we got to fix it all up. So that's yep. why I'm unstapling so that they can scan it. Unstapling, scanning, and then stapling and again. Stapling again, and then filing them, sorting them by year mm. and mm -hmm. by alphabetical order. He doesn't scan. He just. Pulls the staples out and then puts new staples in. Oh, okay. He's a, you're not in charge of the scanning part. No, what, I'm do you not delegate that? What, why aren't you, you doing that, that part? Yeah. Responsibility to someone else. Yes. <laughs> more, more like he's not willing to learn how to do the scanning. Do you know how to scan? Yes, I know how to scan. So why don't you scan? I don't know. I just kind of decided on my own. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna staple. I'm gonna unstaple. I'm gonna do the alphabetizing. Now, Actually, about the time you get in, I've oh, heard about this too. <laughs> now, what time do the interns report? We to? are required to meet Sam at XM at 4:30 a.m. Sam, 4:30 a.m. David, what time do you come in? I come in at 4:40. No, you don't come in. At <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I, I do. Your mentor is saying you don't come in at 4:40. That's not Why true. I come in at 4:40. You come in at five o'clock. Mentor. I do not come in at five. Everyone is generally, saying you come in at five. Generally, he arrives around 4:45, which he says. I don't think it's necessarily true yeah. most of the time. But today he got here at 4:45 because we were walking from XM to CBS. Even though he saw us. He went to XM anyway, and when questioned, he explained he had to go up to XM, even though we were already there, to make sure the other interns didn't forget anything. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Takes his duty seriously. So exactly. why do you come in later than the other interns? It's... <laughs> I got no explanation for that. One. <laughs> but you're the executive intern. That's one of the you perks. You're trying to make up your own hours? No, I'm not trying to... No. No, I think, David, that's one of the perks of being the executive intern. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm, I, I, oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what he just said. I don't know he's whispering to you while I'm talking to you. He's the executive intern. I think that's one of the perks of being. So that's a perk. You're able to uh, just come in later. I guess it is. 
Are you going to be supervising the fluffer nutter hat that we're putting on E-Rock to make sure it's done right? Only if interns are only if interns are doing it. So if interns are involved, you supervise. <laughs> yes, I don't supervise any of the staff members. Only interns. Only interns. Paul, yes. Uh, I one would of just our like interns. To point out that David's supervision usually involves asking one of us what he should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> But you're the executive intern. You're the executive why are you intern? asking them? Yeah, but, but then he doesn't do it anyway. <laughs> so he'll ask us what to do, we'll tell him, and he won't do it. That is not true. I do what because I'm Because he's told. the executive. He doesn't have to listen to you. <laughs> right. I, 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 do do I forgot. You had your fight. I forgot. The reason why I asked him because, is because the paperwork project that we're involved in was explained. It's a project. Yes, it was it's a project. It was, it was explained to Paul several times and not to me, so Paul is the one that knows what to do. Right. Okay. With that project, I was never explained what to do for you're that project. You're just getting information. You're not asking for directions. If you Correct. weren't, if you weren't on the air right now, what would you be doing as executive intern? Mm -hmm. I probably this second. This second? Yeah. If you weren't on the air, eating chalk. <laughs> <laughs> no. I would never do a thing like that. Well, of course not. Well, no, what would you be doing? Joke. I would probably be. Uh, I'd probably be thinking of uh, duties to give to other interns. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Yeah, like what? Is, is I just want to know yeah. what you'd be doing as executive intern right now if you weren't in front of that mic. That's a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Why are you laughing? Because uh, it's funny. David, do you see yourself more as an on-air guy? Is that where your heart is? You're an on-air guy. As opposed to a behind-the-scenes cutting up audio on the yes, yes, definitely. Cutting up audio, you don't need to learn to do that. I kind of he, he has no desire to. I kind of learned how whatsoever. to do that at uh, Connecticut schools of broadcast, but uh, yeah. But when I finish, I'm like, oh, that's not for me. Yeah. <laughs> is your last name Brent? <laughs> My last name is not Brent. No. Really, no? <laughs> 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 you got kind of that vibe going. My last name being Brent. <laughs> yeah, David Brent, from the office. Oh, uh, I didn't get it. <laughs> I'm not as oh. professional. Wait, he got it. He got <laughs> it. Yeah. He got it. Look, he got he's it. cracking up. Yeah. He's cracking he's up. Laughing. He's laughing. Have a laugh we have around here. It's there's right, been a rape up there. <laughs> <laughs> we do have to take a break. We're like 20 minutes late Just because point of at the stuffed monkey. <laughs> yeah, because of the executive intern David. All right, David. I didn't say anything. It's a scream. Like it's madness all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a break. We can right. continue with that.